tonight from the 2006 World Beer Festival in Durham, North Carolina. Woo! Okay, so tonight, by request, we're going to go ahead and make a Mai Tai. So the first thing I want you to do, nice big glass for Mai Tai. Lots of liquors, lots of mixers in a Mai Tai, so you need a big glass to hold it all. I'm going to fill this glass all the way with ice. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, when you're making drinks at home, who makes drinks at home a lot? Me. Hey, 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 hey. How many ice cubes you put in? Three. Three. That's normally what I get. Three. Three is not the best number, folks. You want to fill your glass all the way with ice. Every professional bartender is going to fill their glass all the way with ice. A couple of reasons why. One, make sure the drink is served at the right temperature. If you don't put in enough ice, all that happens is the ice melts, it can't absorb the heat of the drink, liquefies, waters down the drink, and you end up with a warm, watered-down drink. If you put in enough ice, it can absorb all that heat, the ice stays solid, the drink doesn't get liquefied, it gets nice and cold. Also, make sure that the amount of liquor versus mixer is proper. If I only have a couple of ice cubes in here, and I put in my liquor, I'm going to have way too much mixer. Okay, all of the recipes that you're going to learn from bartending books are based on filling the glass completely with ice, so let's make sure we do that. Okay, all the way with ice. Now, in my Mai Tai, I have three liquors. One ounce of light rum, followed by one ounce of gold rum. Dark rum also works. And now, the ingredient that makes it a Mai Tai and separates it from other rum and fruit drink. This is creme de almond. You can also use creme de noyau. You can use amaretto. But in order to make it a Mai Tai, you have to have an almond flavor in there. So I'm going to put a half ounce of creme de almond. Now, for those of you folks who subscribe to my podcast, you know I like to use fresh juices whenever I can. So I'm going to put a squeeze of fresh lime and then drop the lime right in there. Now I also want some orange juice. And I'm going to use the juice of one fresh orange. And I'm going to show you how to juice an orange nice and easy. Do this at home. Cut the orange in half, step one. Step two, put the halves facing each other. Hold it over the drink and squeeze. And you can see that all the juice is going to run straight down into the glass. Nobody gets hurt, nobody gets wet. When you've got it all out that way, you turn to 45 degrees and squeeze it again. More juice comes out. What is also coming out is pulp. So I'm going to rub that pulp. And that's going to get me even more juice. And I'm just going to keep squeezing and turning until all the juice comes out of that orange. Now I'm going to top this drink up with pineapple juice. Almost all the way to the top. And I say almost all the way to the top because I have one more step. No bartender is ever going to serve you a drink that is not mixed properly. No good bartender. And certainly not an art of the drink. So, we're going to take this drink and I'm going to put it in my mixing tin. And I'm going to shake this drink. Really all I want to do here is mix these ingredients, chill them down, and aerate them real good. So it looks like I put it in a blender, but I didn't put it in a blender. Once it's nice and frothy, I pour it back into my service glass. Top it with a straw and another wedge of fresh lime. And we have a Mai Tai. Mai Tai! 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 M